What is going on, everybody? I am the original gamer, Stevie Stro, and we are back for yet another exciting video game showcase for the Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer, also known as the Coca. So grab your joysticks and let's get gaming, people. What are we looking at here today, folks? We are looking at Galagon from 1983, released by Spectral Associates. If you have not figured out by the name, Galagon is a clone of Galaga. All right, so what are we doing here? And rapid fire works. This is phase one of Galaga. Galaga was a very cool follow up to Galaxians. Similar style of space shooter where you were dealing with formations of um, attacking ships. Except this time the ships are actually a variety of different types of bugs like bumblebees and butterflies and dragonflies. And um, they, they kind of dive bomb and attack the same way that Galaxians did, but a lot more variety and a lot, a lot more extra bonus rounds like challenge waves, challenging stages and things like that. Um, a lot of variety to some bonus ships that will randomly appear on the screen sometimes. It was very common for one of the dive bombing ships to break off into three other ships. I just got killed in decent explosion animation there. So these dive bombing ships, like right there, that was known as the Scorpion. So it would break into three of those Scorpions. And if you shot all three of those, you got an extra like thousand points or whatever it was. Now this ship here too, the Dragonflies have the ability, the big ships, to pick you up and capture you, you can then reclaim yourself and have two fighters side by side for double shots. Double shots has advantages. Um, you can do more damage, obviously, but it also makes you a little bit more exposed and easier to um, be um, smashed by an enemy. See, that was his little tractor beam to try to pick me up. I gotta see if I can let him get me again because the third round is a challenging stage and the challenging stage is definitely better suited to having two guns at it. So, I got to see if I can let this guy pick me up. He is dive bombing with a friend. Got a couple guys up here who aren't doing anything. Uh, this game pretty faithfully reproduced the arcade experience, including the scrolling stars in the background, the, the dropping shots. They were actually dropping arrows on you instead of bullets. And so that's exactly the way the arcade did it. Oh man, I am just getting beat the heck here. Getting smashed. I want the guy to come back down and tractor beam me again. I think he was in such a frenzy that he lost his, um, yes. There we go. Fighter captured. No, 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 no. So now that's like the fighter captured music. If I can shoot him, I get my ship back. And now I have double firepower, which is going to come in handy on the. Oh, look at you. I got you. Challenging stage. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the, the shot speed is nowhere near as fast as the arcade. Oh, disappointing. I am used to the arcade, and the speed in which these things are shooting is nowhere near as fast as the arcade. And so I am not going to get my super duper bonus. But um, the fact that the challenging stage is here, that that stage was captured, and um, brought to us is a really cool feature. That was one of the things that made Galaga so cool is it wasn't the same endless monotony of just going after wave after wave of dive bombing attackers. They had these challenging stages. This challenging stage was like on stage three was your first one. I think stage five or stage 10 was your next one. And, and they just kept mixing it up and adding more things to the game. Obviously the difficulty would increase as well but they did add a lot of spice and variety into the game by having other types of miscellaneous dive bombers come at you, throwing you challenging stages and stuff. So Galaga in the arcade was a super cool game. The music also helped. It had really cool opening music and theme music and all kinds of stuff. Um, so the arcade music really helped that game. And this game here, Galagon, is a very good clone of the arcade experience. I'm having fun playing it. It is just as challenging as the arcade. If I had one criticism, I would say the shots are not firing off as quickly. And I don't know if that's because I'm not using a real color computer controller. I'm still running on an emulator right now. And so the ability for my joystick to be recognized by the emulator might be slightly off. So I will try this again once I get my real Coco hooked up and I can capture from my Coco. Uh, I was trying to get slick. 
Uh, this guy here won't go away. And usually those formation ships, if you don't get them all in their first dive, they they disappear. Those um those three Bs that just kind of split up like that. Um, but cool, yeah, the difficulty is definitely picking up. The way they uh, enter the screen like this and how some of them fly off trying to get you and the other ones go into the formation, all of that's in the arcade. So this is really capturing everything from the game so far. I don't see anything missing other than the, the music. I'm going to go ahead and let him grab me. I got enough ships here where I can try to get some double firepower. Why the heck not, right? This was a good clone. There was, uh, there might have been two Galaga clones. So I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there might have been another one. But this was definitely one of the better Galaga clones. They are backing me into a corner here. I see. Let me see if I can get my ship back. You can accidentally shoot your ship too, which would get you points, but you would lose it. And so you have to be careful when that um, dragonfly thing is dive bombing you with your ship that you shoot the dragonfly and not your ship. Which is what I'm afraid of doing right now. He's a slippery little sucker. Gotcha. I gotcha. And the little flags in the corner, that's a throw back to the arcade as well. So you have, um, you know, the different flags to tell you what level you're on. I'm on level six right now, so you got the big five. And, you know, you'll get four of the little little flags until it goes to ten, and so on. So, cool little nod to the arcade dude. I just got kamikaze there. Bummer. I'm getting ships, so I'm gaining extra ships. So I must be getting bonus lives here if I'm realizing it, because every time I look down, I've got three spaceships. Unless this game is cracked and hacked or something, which maybe it is. I think it is, actually, because, uh, yeah, I don't see those ships going down at all. I just realized that. I've got what looks to be infinite lives. I don't know if I did that by mistake by pressing something on the keyboard. Um, or if uh, this game is cracked. I'm not sure. And then I just happened to realize that um, I'm playing for a long time and my inventory of remaining ships doesn't seem to change. And so, you know what, that's not a terrible thing because it's going to let me show you some levels. Now that I realize I can play for a while, I will, I'll still try to play smarter and not just sit here and be stupid. But let's see if we can get to level 10 and then we'll wrap up the video. But yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know if I pressed a certain key to do that or what. But I guess I'm not going to complain too much. Dude. And they did a pretty good job of a challenging stage. So stage seven was the next challenging stage. And this would be one that would definitely suit me better to have two guns. I'm shooting super slow. Yeah, embarrassingly slow. I'll take what I can get, not a lot, but I'll take it. Very cool though, the way they, the whole pattern is, is spot on from the arcade. So they did really good. And I don't know how those guys did it. When you take these games that are so picture perfect and so um, all these details of all these bonus rounds and they, and they just make them so perfect. I don't know if they actually just played the games 10,000 times and just committed it to memory or if they actually got a hold of some of the code and looked at these and kind of reverse engineered them because it's pretty impressive when you have all these patterns and all these things going on that they could just recreate it and have it be so close to the arcade. It really does make me wonder what these guys did when they made these games. And uh, maybe some secrets are best kept, but the reverse engineering brain of mine wants to know at this point, 30 years later, how they did it. Um, and it's just super cool. Super duper duper cool. Boom, 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 boom. We got two more waves to get to before we end this video. I know you guys are all getting bored right now, I can tell. Um, but it's cool. It's a cool game. It's a cool game. You know what? Yes, come on. Help me out here, people. A couple more ships to take care of. Boom, 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 boom. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. One more little butterfly. Come here, little butterfly. 
Boom. Okay, well, that's one way to take them out. Okay, stage nine. Let's see what stage ten looks like, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this thing up here. Ooh. Yeah, I wish I could shoot faster. Um, and I'm just trying to think right now. If I, yeah, if I hold down the button, it is rapid firing. Oh my goodness, look at all those guys. That was insane. So holding down the button does seem to rapid fire. I guess that's probably the best bet. I know there is one thing the game does at the end of the game, which we won't see because it looks like I have infinite lives. But the end of the game would tell you shots fired and how many hits and how many misses and it would give you a percentage based on that. So if you're somebody who's like really into stats, look at that, there's a 3B. Now, yeah, usually those 3Bs, if you didn't get them all in the first attack, they would go off the screen. Yeah, let this guy grab me. Maybe we can go into wave 10 with uh, two shots and do some serious damage. Okay, I got my ship back. Come on, dude. Yes, there was cool music when that happened in the arcade. Alright, stage 10. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what stage 10 is all about. Okay, at least they're not bombing me. They're not bombing me. Okay, that's a nice feature. They just, they said, you know what, on stage 10 we're going to take it easy. When we enter our formation, we're not going to drop any bombs on you. I'm going to throw you a bone. Throw me a freaking bone, Mr. Bigglesworth. Alright, so one last dude. What the heck, let's go. Oh, another challenging stage. Let's see how we do. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at these things here. They're cool looking. Those are really cool looking. And I missed them all. This introduces a whole new species of bug on the screen. Um, super duper cool looking. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm not hitting any of them. That's okay. Cool. Made it to stage 11. Another challenging stage. Not bad. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, not getting them. Not getting them. That's okay. So, boom. 31. I think there's a total of 40 that you have to get in a challenging stage. So, all right, we're going to end the misery. I'm going to stop playing, but very cool game. This was called Galagon, released by Spectral Associates, and just a fun, 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 fun game. Great space shooter, great clone of an arcade classic. I hope you enjoyed this preview. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it for you. And if you did, then do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you've got something you'd like to say, throw out a comment and let me hear it. I'd really appreciate it if you could share this video and my channel with your friends. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out, bye bye, and long live the Coco.